emotionally evocative symbols, chief among them tears, the saddest house, and money itself, occur repeatedly throughout Great Expectations. Charles Dickens uses tears to represent passionate emotions, like gratefulness, love, and shame. In Great Expectations, tears have a benevolent, clarifying effect. When Pip cries, he feels better afterward. After Pip cries tears of shame from Estella's insults, he is able to continue in his daily life. When Pip cries tears of remorse about his treatment of Joe, he can more fully sense how wrongly he treated his friend. The only tears that do not have a positive effect are the crocodile tears shed by Mrs. Camilla because they represent false emotions. Another important symbol is the saddest house. The saddest house represents a lack of growth or death. Miss Havisham's hateful and bitter attitude creates a structure in which time seems to stand still, literally, as all the clocks have stopped at the time her wedding was to have taken place. Nothing significant changes in Saddest House. The furniture remains in the same position without being dusted for years. The wedding cake remains on the table, covered in cobwebs. Miss Havisham has created her own mausoleum that will house her corpse. Saddest is Latin for enough. The title could be ironic. Estella suggests the term saddest implies that a person who owns this house has enough of everything. However, Miss Havisham doesn't have enough love. In fact, <laughs> she does not have enough of anything except money and bitterness. Money is another key symbol. In Great Expectations, money represents the value that society places on someone. Many characters value themselves and their own personal worth as human beings around their economic, money-possessing value. Charles Dickens uses money in the novel to represent power or control over people. For example, Miss Havisham uses money like a puppet master to make Estella do exactly what the recluse wants her to do in London. Also, Magwitch uses money to control Pip and make him into what Magwitch wants, namely a gentleman. But Miss Havisham and Magwitch's use of money to control people backfires. Estella becomes cold toward Miss Havisham. Pip becomes miserable as a gentleman, but doesn't tell this to Magwitch, instead wishing he'd never come and he'd never become a gentleman in the first place.